Okay, third times the fucking charm. Because beer. Monday. Leave me alone. An excuse to drink beer. Hello, my darlings, and welcome to my face for the third time. This is... Oh, my God. Technology is not your friend. Anybody who tells you otherwise is not looking out for your best interest. Anyway, I am, of course, Symmetrica, known to the tech support as Victor. And this is going to be the Vlogosphere, or random transmission, or I don't know what I'm going to call this. This is me talking to you about stuff that is, well, happening, really. And there has been a lack of uh, content the last couple of records, I don't know, days, months, whatever, weeks, I don't, leave me alone. Uh, and the reason for that is technical difficulties. Uh, my computer has, well, being the Frankenstein of computer things, it's a hodgepodge of, like, sewn together stuff, held together with duct tape and the invisible hand of God, I can only assume at this point. But, yeah. So, I have tried to, like, record Reson more Resident Evil 4, and that didn't fail, so it ended up, like, having two hours of footage I couldn't use. And then I tried to fix it, I... But, I used my best, I rolled initiative and rolled for computer skills, and sadly it was a miserable failure. It's a goddamn uh, medical marvel that the entire house hasn't burned down, but enough of me being incompetent. Uh, this is going to be something else. So that is the reason for there not being any content, because stuff. I think I figured it out. Hopefully this vlogo thingy will work out and if it does it will give me the <coughs> strength or power or I don't know divine mandate to try it again but so hopefully there will be at least I, I'm going to attempt another daily run of catacomb kids today so yeah uh, this for the sake of nothing really uh, just tell you a bit about myself and my situation so this is my luxurious apartment in the sky I think is a reference to something I don't know shut up and uh, yeah so it's finally furnished and and all of that good stuff but I, this is not going to be me I've been rambling for holy Christ three minutes but since I don't really have a lot to talk about uh, I explained most of the things current thingies in a video that hasn't gone up as of this recording, but hopefully will go up. So, hold on to your buttocks. Today is, since this is a vlogo thingy, I think it'll be in the title, but today is Monday the 14th of September. And I've just gotten back from work and my back is killing me and all of that stuff. But anyway, so what I wanted to share with you today, the entire thing is oh, comic books I if you couldn't tell like by the back over there comics that's all comics and I'm going to fuck up my entire setup here but you see this do you see it and it continues that is all comics okay I think somewhere around there was the proper anyway so yeah I, I want to do a comic book review and this vlogo thingy just to fill out time and to have stuff to talk about I'm going to share with you my latest purchases and as an added bonus I'm going to talk about things that I have been reading because these right here I haven't read yet uh, these were all scrounged from a comic book store in the like used section but I don't know why. Well, some of them are kind of trampled, and this one has a cut to the to the something or other spleen, maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm not an anatomist. 
of comic books. But yeah, and these are the titles that I've seen or heard of and I wanted to read at some point, but I either haven't had the interest or the money. So at the discount prices, this was a good deal. And anyway, so first up, we have The Rat Queens by Curtis J. Weib and Rock Up Church. And it's supposed to be really good. It's got like, I don't know if the camera catches it, but this right here, that's like the synopsis. And this is all of the praise it's gotten. It's supposed to be good. I've only heard good things about it. So I'm going to report back to you once I've read it. So stay quiet or calm yourself. That's the word. Next up, we have something I bought solely for the cover. And the cover is, oh, it's, it's beautiful to quote, I think, John Tron. And it's uh, Undertow by some people named Orlando Trakhanov and Maurer. And looks, the, oh my god, the art is, looks fucking amazing. If you couldn't tell already, well, I am a huge art whore. So art, the art is really, 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 really important. So, just so you know. Oh fuck, I didn't sync this. Oh my god. I'll figure it out. Uh, you didn't see that. Anyway, continuing on. We have... Preacher, Gone to Texas. So this is volume one of the... I think it's kind of long running. I At least I've seen it. Uh, in the comic book store for ages. Or as, at least as long as I have been... Going to comic book stores. It's by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. And Garth Ennis is one of these like mainstay names in, in comics, as far as I know, at least, who's produced like tons of stuff and is very highly regarded, like alongside, uh, uh, what's his face? Not Michael Moore, but the other Moore. Wait, Alan Moore, that's the name. Alan Moore, uh, Frank Miller, and some other guy. Neil Gaiman? Maybe? I don't know. Gaiman does a lot of... Well, a lot of everything, really. That man is a cipher in the creative community. Anyway, next we have the death-defying Dr. Mirage. And I wasn't going to pick this one at first because... Well, I don't know. Uh, I got huge into it because it's published by Valiant. Valiant Comics. Send me more comics, please. Uh, because I got into reading the... Maybe I can even do a... Wait, let's see. Uh, but uh, Harbinger series and a lot of other... Uh, a lot of other series in that comic book universe. But Because as far as I can tell... Uh, it's all interconnected. So you have like Budshot and you have, what's the other one? Uh, like Exo Warrior and it's all connected. And all of them are really good. I even think, uh, what's the uh, Shadow Man? Which the popular 19 game was based on or the comic book was based on. I don't know. Anyway, all of them are really, really good. And they're like really well written. And the art is, like, amazing in almost all of them. So, this is actually the first physical copy, because I bought all of those. I think I got through, like, a Humble Bundle, Valiant, which was a really, really, really good bundle. I got, like, tons of comics for, like, $15, which was nothing. But, anyway, so, that is why, and I, they... <laughs> The thing about Valiant is they like to promote their own stuff. And this one, I mean the title alone, Doctor Mir Death Defying Dr. Mirage. And again, with all the Valiant titles, the art, let's see, pan through it, is amazing. So, hey, what can I say? I'm a sucker for it. And last on the list is The Exterminators, Volume 1. And two. 
uh, written, I think it's written by Simon Oliver. It's written by Simon Oliver and drawn by Tony Moore. I don't think there is a connection to Alan Moore, but who knows. And I don't know, this was kind of a just spur of the moment, the, the box, the back blurb said some cool things, and I am a sucker. I buy comics for absolutely no reason, as my huge fucking shelf. And this shelf is not a small shelf, it is huge. And I filled it up. Oh my god. All the money wasted. No! Oh! Anyway. So yeah. These I will be reading. See, that's quite the bundle. And I will report back to you about them. Because... Maybe. I don't know. So, what have I been reading the last... I have been rereading the first volume of um, Oku, uh, The Inner Chambers by uh, Fumi Yoshinaga, which is... I d don't even know what fucking genre this is supposed to be. But it's sort of like a character drama, like a period piece, set in feudal Japan during the Edo period, I do believe. But the twist is, is like palace intrigues and it's like all oh, samurai and codes of honor and all that shit. But the twist is that uh, in the like early 17th or 16th, I don't know, 1700s, let's say, because Sweden uses another way of measuring time, or naming time. Shut up! Anyway, a plague has like wiped out most of the men. So it's like a an al alternate history take on like feudal Japan, but all the like important offices and the shogun and all of that stuff is is manned by women. All the posts are, and the men are kept as uh, concubines or geishas or like. So the the premise of the story, the one of the main characters, because like his arc ends like halfway through this book and it's a really good arc and really good characters and everything the art is kind of uh, non bare minimum there's a lot of patterns and a lot of well stuff but it's not not action packed this isn't your usual run of the mill manga it's all about the characters and the story and like the society that the premise uh, depicts so, which is really good. If you're not into uh, Japanese things, culture or anything, I would stand, stay clear of this. But if you have even like a passing fancy or passing interest in manga and are fed up with like the, the shonen type stuff like One Piece and Dragon Ball and stuff like that and seeking a more mature and... Uh, I've cultured look into like and this is this is like based through of history on history by history something and well yeah it's I, I I don't know I don't realize I don't remember why I stopped reading it because I only bought the first book and there's at least like six or ten volumes of this but I need to check this out again because it's really different and this has like been uh, it's won like a number of awards and was even nominated for an Eisner which is something I've gotten into and a, a reason why I've been buying a lot of comics recently but yeah other than that you will see now that the things have disappeared and one of them that I've read most recently is The, the Filth by Grant Morrison and this guy likes his weird and this is huge disclaimer if you're thinking of this is like weird for weirdness sake and it's like the premise is that this guy who is an accountant I think is called back into action by some secret society 
that runs behind the fabric of reality and needs to sort shit out and he has this like uh, dilemma because the persona that he, or the person he was in like real life whatever you whatever that's supposed to be uh, is like clashing because that was only that was supposed to be like this faux persona and it's somehow rewritten his real persona and apparently he's like the savior or something now this is graphic both violence gore pornography uh, like the premise one of the branches of because the filth the titular filth is actually the name of this secret organization and they take care of everything that is like gone wrong with the world uh, that is like breaking through and one of the branches like deals solely in pornography and one of the like story arcs this is the the complete complete so this is just a one one uh, one book series it's not long run long running i think there is 10 or so issues all in all but the, the this is the deluxe edition which is really nice the has got a sleeve and everything and yeah but uh, if you're thinking of checking this out i would uh, read like a synopsis or at least like the basic on uh, grant morrison because this is like one of his personal works or more personal i think and Grant Morrison, even when dealing with the mainstream stuff, is kind of weird. Kind of really weird. Uh, check out if you want to know about him. He is the one who rewrote like the uh, the Green Lantern universe when all of all of the craziness in like the 90s went down. When Green Lantern went insane and killed like everybody. And lastly. I don't really know if I should say that I read this, because you don't really read it, because there isn't a whole lot to read. I think there's like... Maybe 200 words in total. But the art. Oh my god, the art. This is actually written by Frank Miller, and you wouldn't know it. I don't even know how I stumbled across this, but... Oh, yeah, it was like a Tumblr post or something. I, it was... Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, that image, I found that on Tumblr. And I was like, oh my god, that is gorgeous. And apparently it's, uh, it's a comic. So I, I need to have it. Because it's amazing. And as amazing as that one panel is, the entire... The entire fucking comic, every panel is just super detailed and so, I mean I don't even understand it but anyway there isn't a whole lot of story uh, I mainly bought it for the art and that is probably why I will return to it uh, actually this one has like won a bunch of awards as well I think or at least one uh, I don't I don't remember but it's the story of this uh, what the hell, like insurance claims adjuster or a uh, tax man, we don't really know. Aha, uh -huh. intrigue. Who is, on the surface of his, seemingly immortal. And he gets into like, well, firefights is underselling it. Uh, miniature apocalypses. He, like, he gets hit by cars, he crashes his cars, he destroys entire legions of motherfuckers for seemingly no reason. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, there isn't a whole lot, a uh, whole lot to read into. Or is there? Hmm. But it's kind of like uh, the Dark Souls approach to storytelling. You don't... You have to piece it together and there's a lot of... I don't know. But, yeah. So if you are as me and like super detailed art, this is a must-buy. Uh, if anything, I don't know if it's <laughs> available uh, through Comixology.
Yeah, no. Okay, so it's not available there. But if you, if you even have a passing fancy in like science fiction, and it's it, the story is kind of pulp. Well, it is pulpy. Uh, pulp thriller with a sci-fi twist, as far as the story goes. But again, I can't even. The amount of detail in this is fucking staggering. It's so, like, check this. As one panel, just cram, and they have they have this like double page spreads that are just fucking look at this. Wait, I need to center it. And there's like one word said over there, and it's just oh my god, I I can't even. But yeah, so th that's what I've been into the last couple, week or two. Uh, I it kind of read stuff in piecemeal. Uh, for instance, I got him back into uh, the Berserk manga, which I love. Uh, I've al I've already read it, but I've started to buy it because I'm one of those crazy people who likes to have physical copies of stuff. And also now, side tangent, rant incoming. Uh, I love like the local. Well, it's not local, but the the comic book stores and the comic book store experience just going in there and I've only recently I've like gone I've come into a day like the, the the staff recognizes me and I recognize different people and I've like established a repertoire with with both the um, owners of the establishments and like the people who frequented like myself and it's like become this this thing, I'm just, I'm not just there to buy comics, I'm actually there to see people and like just have the experience, which I love. So, I will, as of this moment, I hereby proclaim, not a jihad, but, well yeah, this is a holy war, for support local, like, businesses I won't say, because a lot of local businesses are kind of shit. But local comic book businesses, because of uh, I say so, and I will feed you my fist. <laughs> so yeah, more people should read comics, because I mean there is this like entire fucking frenzy of I mean the en entire Marvel universes universe seems to get its own. Uh, what you might call it? Movie, that's it. Or TV series for that matter. I mean, fucking Netflix is like chocked full of different uh, different series. I mean, you have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you have the fucking... Wait, The Flash. The Flash is DC, but you get my drift. Comic books are migrating from just books to all other walks of media. And, and I mean, we've had... Uh, whatchamacallit, ah, video games, those things I play on my channel. <laughs> but yeah, and, uh, but I think I love comics and uh, I don't like movies. I've sort of given up on movies. Now this is getting personal because this is a vlog, damn it. This is my vlog and I am fucking making you watch this. Grr. I don't like movies because they are usually, I think I might have ADD or something because I can't really focus for an hour, which anyone who's seen any of my videos will know that to be the absolute truth. I can't focus on shit. I am probably like the genetic descendant of a goldfish or something because anyway. But I don't like movies, and I kind of television television series have become this sort of I I because I have two monitors. I have this one that is attached to the uh, camera thingy, camera thingy, <laughs> and I have a huge fucking screen over here, which is it's big in size, but it is low, low, low on resolution. So it's just one grainy mess. And I have other monitors stashed away 
at convenient locations. So in like, in case of emergency, or monitor emergency, open the closet, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, you gotta make yourself laugh. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, TV. I don't watch TV. Uh, and I like comic books because they are kind of like movies in... They're kind of like movies in like the story arc and you have the the presentation because a lot of well, modern comics use a lot of like cinematography as the backbone of like what well, the sequence of images that's something you didn't know but now you do uh, so it's like watching a movie but watching a movie in like stills like one picture at a time and that for somebody who is not all that great at uh, focusing that is perfect for me because I can like okay watch one panel watch another panel oh I need to draw something oh my house is on fire or something I need to like walk my fish or whatever water the cat what do people do who have pets anyway and when I'm done with my side tangent, I just, oh, I can just pick it up. Or if I'm really, like, I've been gone a couple of days or I've died or something, I can just read, like, the last chapter and, oh, I'm back up to speed. And it's, I like it. And since I draw a lot myself, I am going to show you the most intimate parts of my sketchbook. There are stuff, stuff I draw. Play. That's the way. So usually when I read comics, I, I just say, oh, I need to take a pause and draw something. And that's what I do, and then I get back to it, and it's fine. And this has gone on for 30 minutes at this point, at least a recording. I will edit this down. So thank you all for bearing with me on this, my first vlog featuring my face and my beard cancer. And beer. Uh, still Monday, but who's keeping score? My back is hurting. Leave me alone. Who are you? My mother? If my mother is watching this, God help me. There might not be another one. So, this has been a vlog of uh, things. Uh, I'm, uh, hopefully there will be a new Let's Play series. I'm hoping to play uh, This War of Mine and I'm, I feel I'm kind of done with uh... Fuck, Cities Skyline or maybe I'm not, I don't know. Uh, that all ended when I, when I had to move and it's been like at least a month since then so maybe i'll get back into it or i'll do another city building game uh i recently bought uh, tropico 5 and I, I i it seems like something that would be really fun to both play and to record so yeah that is something going down the pipeline i also had this well that was like one of my oh now you get to see me without the hat. My hair is atrocious. Don't look at me! Uh, that was one of the first games I wanted to play for the channel, but my video card wasn't up to snuff. So uh, hopefully I will be start starting playing uh, Lords of the Fallen. The uh, uh, Dark Souls ripoff. Who knows? Uh, it looks like fun and uh, I, I love the Soul series, although I suck fantastically added so hopefully uh, you won't see me sucking at the souls game you will see me sucking at the truck stop shut up the lords of the fallen but yeah so that is happening I'm, I'm trying to make a thumbnail for it but so far it hasn't worked out i draw my own thumbnail i do everything i am a one-man army of detached consciousness and uh, that'll be it for this time i have been symmetrica and this has been my face uh known to my face as victor and if you have like i i really want to know get to know 
the people who watch my channel. I actually know most of you already uh, because you are my close friends. You are the only ones who's, who are watching this. But there, I have had a couple of new subscri subscribers and I really want to get to know you. And maybe we'll play something together. Who knows? Uh, but if there's something you'd like to see me play, or maybe just hang out, chat a bit, you know, talk about beards, being fat, I mean, black, what? <laughs> anyway, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I want to get to know you, and if you want to get to know me, just holla at your boy, as some people say, I think, maybe, no? Okay, but yeah, uh, I don't know how anybody would have found this video without being already subscribed to my channel, but if you're not, I'll do the whole shtick anyway. All, all, of, all of the regulars, you can, you can flitter away to your, re to your real lives and not part of this detached ethereal concept that is the internet, which is apparently a series of tubes, I have been told. But yeah, be a darling and subscribe if you haven't already for more of my face, more Ugh. comic books, comic books all the way, uh, more let's plays, more of everything really, more of me, that's not a good thing, I've been told, but yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, until next time.